Today's field trip is brought to you by social norms. Conventions that govern society's behaviors are often unspoken. We reveal a lot about ourselves through nonverbal cues. So today, we'll test to see how good you are at reading them. One of these three couples is married. The other two couples are actors that met just before our class today. From body language alone, can you tell the real couple from the imposters? Margie and Todd married five years. They have a schnauzer named Bentley. Scott and Linda have been married 32 years and just returned from a world cruise. And finally, Beth and Courtney, they're newlyweds who just honeymooned in Vegas. So which is the real couple? Results are very mixed. That's not surprising. All of our couples exhibited nonverbal cues that signal romantic involvement. Public displays of affection are so universal that two people can convince you that they were married for years, even though they're strangers like Margie and Todd. Touch, like handshake or holding hands, establishes trust and connection. But Beth and Courtney used it <laughs> to deceive you. Scott and Linda are the real deal. And if you paid attention closely, you might have noticed a common cue from a long-term couple, like mimicry. Uh, similarity in gestures and facial expressions, even wrinkles. The scientists attribute this to decades of shared emotions. So, in the real world, can you tell the romantic couple from the platonic one? Excuse me. I can take it from here, Professor, if you want to reply to that message that I'm guessing is from Rose. You read my nonverbal cues. Well done. Now you look disappointed. Rose got called away for work, which means she can't be my plus one at a wedding reception this weekend. Well, you have a little time to find another plus one. I think I already found one. Me? Weddings are a great place to study irrational behavior, like social norms in action. Do you have a tux? I can get one. Good. And you'll need to be cleared by security. Where exactly is this wedding? 